Hey lovelies, what's up? My name is Bryn and today I am going to be unboxing and giving my first impression of the Dyson Corral hair straightener. Shout out to Bay because this is the best Christmas present ever. I cannot wait to unbox this and try it because one, it was specifically made for curly hair. I'm sure you've seen the commercials of the girl with curly hair straightening her hair. Second, it's supposed to reduce heat damage by 50% with the copper plate technology that we're going to take a look at. And overall, it's just supposed to be an amazing hair straightener. I don't have any product in my hair right now and I let my hair air dry since yesterday after washing it. As you can see, it's very frizzy. The curls are not defined. They definitely need some love. So let's unbox this. It came in this adorable wrapping paper. Oh my God, it's heavy. <laughs> and then underneath, I'm assuming this is the charge cable. Let's take a look. We have the charging cable. the charging stand then it also comes with this plastic plate that holds the straightener up when it's charging it comes in this really pretty case oh my god this is so nice so soft and velvety and ooh It's so pretty. I love this color. Oh my God. This is such a gorgeous purple. And here are the copper plates and they come with those ridges in it that are supposed to help bend to the hair. And it is wireless, of course, so it comes with a battery, so you can use it to travel, or alternatively, you can use it with the charging cable. How do I even open it? Is this it? <gasps> okay. Wow, so this locks it and closes it and opens it. Looks like it needs a little bit of a charge. So there are two ways to charge the straightener. One is just putting the cord through the bottom here. And then alternatively, you can use this charging station. So I plugged the cord at the bottom and now you just rest it like that. Today, I'm going to be using the John Freda three day straight heat protectant. This is my hair fully brushed out. It is huge. I haven't combed it out in years. So like I'm actually taken aback by this. The Dyson is charged up and it's ready to go. I have it on the highest heat setting. So let's do this. I wonder how long this is gonna take. The battery is supposed to last uh, fully charged for about 30 minutes. This is not gonna be done in 30 minutes. Here we go. Wow. Okay. That's with one pass. Wow. That is very straight. I 
I really like the charging station because in between passes, I can put it on the charging station and keep the battery getting charged up instead of having to attach the cord. So let's see how long that actually works for before I have to attach the cord. Maybe it'll be the entire time I straighten my hair. Who knows? But so far, this is after just a couple of passes. It's definitely going to reduce the amount of time that I spend straightening my hair and having to go over sections over and over again, which is really exciting. The texture between my straightened hair and my brushed out curly hair is like night and day. It's crazy. I do find it a little bit heavy, but it's manageable for me. And I also find that my hair is not getting caught in the little ridges so far. Maybe it's because I've detangled my hair, but so far, so good. There's no pain. That was one of the complaints that I, I read about. And then to go up to the root, I'm just holding it on an angle. Oops. It's pretty impressive for one pass, I must say. Wow. <laughs> the difference is shocking. I decided to attach the cord because it was getting at about 25% so I just wanted to get ahead of it um, but it lasted me without the cord about 45 minutes uh, but that's with the charging station so I'm gonna get started on the second half now uh, 45 minutes in which isn't too too bad considering how much hair I have when ends are like dry and dead and unhealthy, it's harder for the straightener to make them as beautiful as we want. And it sucks because then you have to go over the straightener, over the hair with the straightener like a million times because the ends are dead and it just like kills them even more. That's what putting hot tools on your hair does, folks. I love that I can put my hands around it and they don't burn like with some other straighteners that I have. If you touch this part, it's really hot. Luckily with this Dyson uh, Corral, it's very mild. You just feel a teeny bit of warmth. Ugh, love to see it get straightened so quickly. From what my hair looked like at the beginning of this video or when I brushed it out to now is like night and day. Did I get the back of my head? I wanna do that thing where you like curve the ends, which is this is apparently really good for. So let's see what that looks like. So there you can see like that my dad's ends are very sparse and not happy. So I am going to just curve them. And there you go. Gorgeous. Do you see the difference? It looks like healthier and fuller. Um, wow. <laughs> Definitely a must do. Like a night and day, ladies and gents and everyone else.
Here are the final results. My hair is pin straight that I cannot deny. My hair is, like I mentioned before, night and day from the way that it was when I combed it out or even at the beginning of the video when I didn't have any product in it. So I do give it a 10 out of 10 for its ability to straighten hair. It is definitely a good hair straightener. But pros and cons. Okay, first major con, probably the biggest con, the price. This was $650 Canadian. I think it's about $500 US. This was a gift. Is it a necessary splurge? I do not straighten my hair very often, so it's definitely a luxury gift for me. If you are straightening your hair frequently, then yeah, I absolutely think that this could be a great tool for you because it got my hair so straight in an hour and 25 minutes which is crazy because it usually takes like two and a half to three hours. Look at the amount of hair I have. It took about two passes per little section of hair rather than like five or six. So I can definitely see how the heat damage can be reduced by using the Dyson versus another straightener where you have to keep going and going and going. Um, I do love the fact that I can travel with this. So it lasts 30 minutes with a full charge and you can take it onto your carry-on. There's like a little uh, piece that you can remove that I showed at the beginning. Uh, you just put it in a little pocket and then it's carry-on safe. Or say that you're just like going camping or something for a night. You can straighten your hair and then pack your Dyson Corral and have uh, 30 minutes to play around and do touch-ups. But I would not have enough of a battery power for my whole head of hair. Um, so that is definitely one of the letdowns, but how big would the battery have to be for it to stay at 410 degrees for like an hour and a half? It would be so much heavier. So I do like the fact that I have the charging stand and I do like the fact uh, that I have the cable. So I am pleasantly surprised overall with the Dyson Corral. I definitely think that my hair looks straight and I definitely think I need to get a trim because these ends, girl, I'm gonna have to follow up with a how to trim your ends video because Dyson exposed me, but that's okay. I'm so happy overall with how long my hair looks and there's definitely no like bumps or like you couldn't even tell that I have naturally curly hair because my hair doesn't have any like imperfections in the straightening job. It's just silky smooth, which I love. I'm gonna finish off with a little bit of smoothing cream just to kind of solidify and smooth down the style. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think. If you have the Dyson Corral, any tips or tricks, any other hair tools to try, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.